Hey guys, today I'm going to answer the question, when should you pick up your, your Lily Honor of the Veil? So if you still have them, it's probably best to move them. I mean, you're not gonna get the highest price. It is highly likely that they are in Modern Masters 2017. If they are not, I would be absolutely surprised. They should be the chase card or one of the chase cards in that set to sell the set and Wizards of the Coast is all about selling those packs, right? So this one will definitely sell a pack. The question of when to buy her is an interesting question and we can look at old data from Modern Masters 2017. I'm gonna look at Mythic. If you guys like this video, I will also make leave a comment below saying that you liked it. I'll make one for Snapcaster Mage, which I believe will have a different a different graph associated with it. Uh, a different card in Modern Masters 2017 I'll compare it to. So Liliana Vale is a mythic. Karn Liberated is a mythic. Karn Liberated is a $40 plus mythic. At the height of the card, it was a $66 mythic. So that's why it's a good comparison against with Lily. Modern Masters 2015 comes out May 29th, 2015. For the sake of this graph, we'll just look at June. Contra Tarkir happens. I'm pretty sure the announcement is made. Oh, cards are, kids, cards are spoiled a little bit before. And then you can see from Cards of Tarkir all the way down to Battle for Zendikar, right before Oath of the Gate Watts, there is a slow, slow decline. And that slow decline tells me more products are being opened, less demand, and it's a natural graph. And you can see, you can see from this graph, it looks like from November, from when Battle for Zendikar, even before when Battle for Zendikar was released, until Oath of the Gatewatch, until mid-January, maybe February, you had a chance to buy this card for $40. I made a mistake, and I will openly admit it. I expected it to go down to 25 and I was waiting for it to continue to go down, but it didn't do that. It spiked, and then it kind of conclaved again, and then it went back up for Aether Revolt. But this card will likely never be a $40 retail card again. It will always be more until it's reprinted again. So when is the best time to buy? It looks like after 90 days, but before 180 days is the cheapest. You can see that's the, that is the point where it dipped to $40 or under. So that is probably the time to buy Liliana and Avail, which makes a lot of sense because people are opening packs. Maybe they're even lucky enough to draft it, right? If the store is not too greedy, they can allow people to draft it, which would be nice. And people are opening packs, people are trading for it. People now have it in their binders, trade binders. And at this point in time, it's a good card. It's just a good card. Card Liberated is a good card. It's good in Tron, it's good in EDH. It just feels like it's a mythic. And that's what I like about it. Same with Lily of the Veil. Vale. Lily of the Veil vale is a beautiful card. Just probably the most gorgeous card. Uh, maybe Angelic Destiny would be a good one. And I will get in, I'll make a new video about uh, the Holofoils and the counterfeit situation currently. But I'm, I want new Lilies. Like I have my foil Lilies but I want new lilies. And there's a particular reason that counterfeiters in China and Canada and Brazil, that they don't do foil and they don't do the hollow foil stamps. That little little stamp, I want to change all. When Karn Liberated came out, I traded away all my Karns for the new Karns with the little stamp. And same with the Conflux, uh, high, Noble Hierarchs, because I was like, okay, no. And it's not because fakes are difficult to identify. It's not because fakes are like, if you play Magic, you will know it's fake. You just had to feel it, and I know this sounds really funny, but you had to smell it, right? Because it smells like plastic. It smells different from cardboard. Anyway, it's not the fact that like I cannot tell what a fake is. It's the fact that I don't want to tell the person sitting across me that they're trading me a fake, right? I'm not going to trade for the fake, but I'm also not going to remain silent and be like, huh, this is fake, and you don't know it's fake? Mm, interesting. And I don't want to get in that conversation because either that person actually doesn't know and will be really disappointed or that person does know and then will be really angry. So I just want, don't want to be put in that situation. I'll make a whole nother video about it and a whole nother video about some of the interactions I've had, uh, even with stores, even with stores, because if the store hires a tournament organizer who's not an avid magic player, then maybe they don't know.
and honestly, there's a store, <coughs> cough, cough, that, that does buy lots of fakes. And I've seen, and I know that they are fake. And I've told them that, and they know that. Anyway, bye guys.